Let's take a moment and check out the equalizer settings on Pioneer's DEHX 4700 BT. So from any of our source menus, I'm going to press in on the volume control here, and I want to go to the audio settings menu. Here's the audio settings. We'll press enter, and we're going to roll over until we find the EQ settings and press enter again. Here you'll find we have a number of uh, EQ presets from flat, to super bass, or powerful curve, the natural curve, and the vocal curve. Many of these preset EQ settings will sound very good, but if you'd like to make adjustments on your own, roll over to the next setting, which is custom number one. If I press in on the volume control, we'll enter into the custom menu, and here I have a powerful five band EQ. Right now we're on the 80 hertz band, and if I press in, I can make an adjustment to boost up the 80 hertz band. Press in on the volume control again, and it's back to the frequency where I'll choose 2.5K. Press in on the volume control, and we will cut at 2.5K. So we've made a custom EQ, and the custom EQ is independent for each source, CD, auxiliary, and USB. We're going to go back now and roll over to custom number two, where I have a second custom EQ setting. It works exactly like the first one. We can boost this up. Press in on the volume control, go over to 80 hertz, uh, press in and cut this down. The only difference between custom number one and custom number two is custom number two is a shared equalizer setting across all sources. When you're done with that at any time, you can press the band button to escape.